Dre and Pete's Creature Craze. Today, we're with our two co-hosts, Sprite the Beardy and Marble the Pink. But we're not talking about them today. We're actually talking about camels. Thank you so much, Jessica from Florida, for your request. Let's talk habitat. Camels live in the Middle East and North Africa. And some camels even live in the U.S. too. Domesticated camels sleep lying down, but wild camels sleep standing up so they can protect themselves from predators. Their main predators are a pack of wolves and humans. Them for food. That's a shame. Fun facts! Ray, you can go first. Thanks! There are two species of camel. The dromedary camel, which is a one hump camel, and the bactrian camel, which is a two hump camel. Did you know that camels can carry their babies for up to 14 months? <gasps> Did you know that when a camel gets really mad, it spits contents out of its stomach, which is vomit mixed with saliva, and yeah. then it shoots it out? Ew! Very. I know. <laughs> camels have really long eyelashes so they can keep out sand. Did you also know that camels can actually close their noses just in case of sandstorms? Wow. I know. Too bad we can't do that. It would really help on windy days. <laughs> yeah. Camels have especially designed hoofs so they can walk through the sand. So cool. Camels have thick lips so they can eat thorny plants in the desert. Wow. Yeah. Thick lips. Won't that look <laughs> I think that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that a camel can reach up to seven feet in height? <gasps> wow. Did you also know that camels can carry up to 600 pounds? <gasps> that's three times the weight that a horse can carry. Did you know that a camel can weigh around 1,500 pounds? <laughs> wow, that's really heavy. Yeah. Did you also know that if a camel's super thirsty, it can drink 40 gallons at once? <gasps> Whoa! Their water bill must be really high. Yeah, we don't want to be them. <laughs> I think a camel would make a great pet because you could ride it whenever you want. And your friends could ride it too because it can carry up to 600 pounds. Yeah, but the hump's probably not that comfortable. You could always throw a saddle on it. Yeah, but what if it wasn't tame? You could look in the books, on the internet. You could always look up, how do I tame a camel? Yeah, but what if you accidentally sat on it the wrong way? or it just got really mad at you, you'd be covered. Hmm. And the chores. You know a camel drinks up to 40 gallons of water a day. And it'd probably be a lot of work hauling it back and forth, back and forth, and trying to feed it. Oh, that's way too much work. Well, you could give it water little by little so it wouldn't have to drink. 40 gallons at once. Yeah, but it does. Well, what if you gave it 10 gallons every two hours? Yeah, but it's still making more. Mm. So, having a camel as a pet isn't a good idea. Joke time. <laughs> <laughs> good camel imitation. Thanks. Here's a joke for you. What's sweet? and walks through the desert. Hmm, a sweet old lady camel? No, uh. a caramel! <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. Sweet, thank you. Oh. <laughs> My camel drawing, it's gonna look so much better than yours. In your dreams. Your camel's going down in the dunes. Okay, smack talker. Not buying it. Done. Done. On three. One, two, three. 
Vote for Ray. Vote for Bay. Let us know in the comment sections below whose drawing you think is better. Thank you for watching Ray and Pete's Creature Grace. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. Make sure to comment down below which creature you want to hear about next. Smash that like button and ring the bell. And we hope you enjoyed this episode on Camels. Bye.